Hey, what's up? Jeff here from WordPress Informer, and today we'll be taking a look at how to install WordPress in under 5 minutes with cPanel. In the other video, I demonstrated how to install WordPress manually, useful if your web host does not have cPanel or for any other reasons. Before we start, I just want to mention that it's always a good idea to learn the basics before moving on, and in this case, I really do recommend you to manually install WordPress at least once before using this method, so you understand the installation process and what is actually happening behind the scenes. Think of this as when you go camping. It's all fine and dandy if you want to bring lighters and matches to start a campfire, but what if your matches get soaked and you lose your lighter? Well, in that case, you'd have to go back to the basics. Light a fire using a stick. What if you don't know how to light a fire using a stick? Well, you'd be in trouble. This is why I always say master the basics before getting fancy. Anyways, let's get on with the video. Technically, when we use cPanel to install WordPress, we are not actually using cPanel. We are using the scripts contained within cPanel to install WordPress. cPanel is only a platform. Depending on your web host, your cPanel may come with different script installers like Fantastico, Softaculous, etc. Sometimes your web host may use a custom built platform, so refer to the documentation if you're unsure. When you signed up for web hosting, you would have gotten an email with all the important information, including your cPanel access link and credentials. Follow that link and log into your cPanel. A small orange is my web host. So this is the screen I'll see when I log in. You may see a different cPanel interface, such as this, but don't worry, the functions still stay the same. Scroll down to find the Softaculous Apps Installer and click on WordPress. You'll come to an overview screen with different tabs you can explore, and the WordPress version you'll install is shown at the top with its release date just to the right. Click on Install. First, you'll need to choose a protocol. You can choose to have the triple W at the beginning, or you can just go with the HTTP. Unless you have SSL, do not choose HTTPS. Select the domain you'd like to use for this installation. Specify your installation directory, if your website is empty and you're installing WordPress for the first time, or if you're doing a fresh install of WordPress, leave this field blank. If you want to install WordPress to a directory, you can specify it here. Just to clarify, if you want to install WordPress at the domain level, for example you want to install WordPress at howtostartacampfire.com, then leave this blank. If you want this installation to go in a directory, for example howtostartacampfire.com slash test, then you would type in test. In my case, I already have a WordPress installation at the domain level, so I'm going to create a new directory for this installation. Specify a database name. It's a good idea to name this database something you'll understand, so if in the future you want to manage or delete databases, you'll know which database relates to which WordPress installation. Specify a table prefix. Generally, you don't need to change this, however, changing this prefix is beneficial for your site's security. Enter a name and description for your blog. These two fields can be changed later via the admin area of WordPress. Leave multi-site unchecked, unless of course you want multi-site. Specify the admin username and password you use to access the admin area of this WordPress installation, then specify an admin email. Select a language, then choose whether you'd like to limit login attempts to improve site security. Generally you won't need to change any advanced options, but you can disable update notifications via email, you can enable auto upgrade for your WordPress installation, as well as plugins and themes. You can enable automatic backups and specify a backup rotation. You can bundle a theme to your installation, but we'll leave it for now as you can always choose a theme later from the admin area. Fill in your email to have installation details sent to you. When you're good to go, click install. The installation process will begin. Once installation is complete, you'll be able to access it using the first link. The second link will take you to the login page, where you can use the credentials you specified before to access the admin area. 
Congratulations, you have just installed WordPress in under 5 minutes. To remove an installation, simply access the WordPress installer again. A list of installations will be shown at the bottom. Click the X to delete that particular installation. Click Remove Installation to finalize deletion. Remember to log out when you're done. Alright, this wraps up how to install WordPress in under 5 minutes. My name is Jeff and I'll see you next time.